something happens and they can't quite make their full rent payment, they're $25 short, then they get a late fee of $125 added on for every week they're late, then they can never catch up, right? Eviction takes people from making it to poverty and homelessness. I think about my granddad who was mayor back in the 70s and how he would have tried to solve this eviction issue and the reality is it would have been a very long, drawn out, inefficient process that may or may not have succeeded. The whole idea of Urban Data Pioneers grew out of looking at data sets completely differently. It used to be that our databases were really just record keeping systems. And now we're thinking about data sets as truly analytical treasure troves. I mean, when you say data, how many people are going to get excited? <laughs> But we got students, city employees, people from all different kind of companies. All of a sudden, it's like the doors were wide open. This was the perfect partnership with data experts to help us target where are those people that we could help the most. So is the idea to correlate the court data with the water turnover data to yes. see who are voluntary? Uh, turnover rates? Uh -huh. is what we can find with the water bill data. And then we have the court records, which we can guarantee that are uh -huh. our evictions. Have they been laid on a water bill? Have they got their water cut off? Can we get those people early and work with them so that they don't have that eviction on their record? It's going to be exciting to see what Urban Data Pioneers come back with and that we can start to implement. Now, we don't have to solve all those problems here at City Hall. We just have to create the conduit to do that. There's a lot of people who actually really want to help. Regardless of their age, regardless of what part of town they're from, regardless of who they voted for for president, everybody in Tulsa right now has the opportunity to play a part in building the best city that this generation is capable of building.